I'm Travis Benner, and this is Next Generation Science. Thank you. All right, today we're going to be looking at a Next Generation Science standard for PS3-2. It has to do with energy, where we make observations to provide evidence that energy can be transferred from one place to another by sound, light, heat, and electric currents. And our assessment boundary is, does not include quantitative measurements of energy. We're just looking at how energy can be transferred from place to place by sound, light, heat, and electric currents. So today, let's take a look at how we transfer some energy. First of all, we're gonna take a look at this desk. This is my teacher's desk where I have set up different ways to transfer energy. To begin with, we're going to turn on one of the outlets here, which gives us electrical energy, AC power, alternating current, through the cord, which has two wires in it. The electricity is delivered up to this blower and this blower then turns this motor makes the blower turn which pushes air out now we're moving air and moving air can do work moving air can make something move even this ping pong ball and if we put it back in the stream of air it can almost hover all right let's turn on the other outlet that outlet gives power to our motor. And when the motor starts turning, now we went from electrical energy into mechanical motion. And the mechanical motion is turning this shaft. This shaft is called a line shaft. And it's now turning. And as this shaft turns, it turns other things. The energy is transferred. This is still mechanical motion, but now it's being transferred through chains and other pulleys through belts to make things move. We're making this thing spin really fast. This motion is also transferred to this belt, which goes way up here, and is transferred to another shaft, and these pulleys turn, which makes this cable that goes all the way across the room, and it makes it move. It also can make this chain turn. And the chain could be hooked up to this sprocket, which then would make this generator. We're now transferring mechanical motion into a generator that generates electricity back. So electricity is now being generated from these magnets and a coil of wire that's inside through the wires that go and make mechanical motion again. The mechanical motion of this hammer striking the bells, which gives us sound. So we have all kinds of transfer of energy happening so far right away. We can also transfer energy, electrical energy, from this switch to create light. This can also create light up here. And this light can be transferred back through a solar panel or solar cell into DC electrical power, which turns our little motor. We also have a way to transfer electrical power through my own mechanical motion. Now I am using my muscles, which I get my energy from the food that I eat and the food becomes chemical energy as I digest it, and that gives my muscles energy to move. So my muscles can make my hand move, which can make this move, and if I move this, this telegraph can send electrical signals along a wire. And it can also make light. 
right way up here on the ceiling. We've got different ways to transfer electrical energy to make sound, to make mechanical motion. We can even generate electricity. We turn on this power supply. And then we turn on the switch. Close the switch so electrons can flow. We have mechanical motion coming from a motor turning from the electricity. We also have electrical energy delivered to a light bulb and the light bulb is giving off light. And we also have electrical energy now can come through this switch, which gives electrical energy to this motor. And this motor then turns a shaft that turns a pulley, which can then turn another shaft. <laughs> and then that can make this motor turn. Now let's take a look at some more transfers of energy. Take this. This is, what do we call this? Glow stick. Glow stick. Okay, take this glow stick and see if you can flex it to snap the chemicals that are held in the center so that they can mix with the chemicals that are outside. Give it a, several snaps there all the way up and down and then see if you can shake it a little bit. Take your glow stick and do the same thing. You're gonna break the center, what's inside. Yep, keep doing it all the way down. And then you're gonna shake it up a little bit. We're gonna see if we get anything happening because of your mechanical motion opening up the chemical energy, allowing the chemicals to mix, and then when the chemicals mix, they have energy, and they can release it in the form of light. We've also taken a couple of these foot warmers, and we've opened them up, we've taken them out of our, hold, our little container, and now shake up those foot warmers. Take your foot warmers. Let's see one up close there foot warm up. Okay. There's some kind of powder inside, isn't there? Okay. Shake it up. Let it slide back and forth and see what happens. Have you noticed any change? Keep going for a little bit. Keep shaking it up and see if you notice any change at all from when you first got it. Are we seeing any change in our glow sticks? I'm going to turn off the lights briefly. So here we have chemical energy releasing light energy. So it's actually a chemical reaction. As these chemicals get to mix, as they mix, they release energy in the form of light. Lights on. So what's happening with the foot warmers? Are they getting any warmer? It's getting a little warmer, but a little warmer? Yeah, about the powder's like, getting harder. I, I guess Ooh, it's getting harder. I was gonna, I guess, like 67 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's feeling like night, like 70 something. So it's warming up, you think? All right, we'll get an actual thermometer on that and see what happens. Next, let's take a look at this. Here we have what we call button batteries. Button batteries, and the sides are a little different from each other when you look at them. They have some writing stamped on them, there's little symbols, and we also have these which are called LED light bulbs. So, you girls at this table, everybody get a button battery and get a light bulb and see if you can make anything happen. We're making observations, providing evidence that energy is transferred from place to place by sound, light, heat, and electric currents. I got one too. What's happening? The light bulb. The light bulb is lighting up? Yeah. What color do you have? Red. You have a red color? Let's see it. There it is. What do you have? Red. You have a red light bulb too. And you have a red light bulb. <gasps> Wait a second. What do you have? Green? Now wait a minute. 
how did you make green and you made red? Try something different. See if you can figure out why one would be red and one, and the other three would be, or three would be red and one would be green. Oh. What are you discovering? I don't know. Wait, yours is green now. Yeah. I thought it was red. It's green now. Do I? Wait a second. Mine's <laughs> still red. Oh. Well, let's try something. Keep trying the something other side. new. What? what do you mean? That's Explain it. Oh, okay. So first, it was on this side, and it was red, and I flipped over to the side. So show me now. Show me the steps you're taking. So here. it was like this. Oh, now it's green. Red. Yeah. It, okay. So first, I went like this. And if it goes right on this side, now it's not. So what do you have to be touching? Where exactly? It matters. That is green. Yeah. So let's see what you got. Oh! It's green now. It's green now. Can you go back to red? Show me how you go back to red. It's red. This side will be green and this side will be red. So, the sides matter? Yes. It matters energy. That way. So this way is red. Show me green now. How do you get back to green? Don't give up. Try something new. What else can you do? Try making yellow. Oh, I got a green. Ah, so what did you do? I got a yellow screen. Turn it around. So, can you make brown? On LED light bulbs, which LED stands for light emitting diode. And these LEDs have two lights. They have a red and a green, and it depends on the polarity, whether or not it's the positive side or the negative side of the battery. These button batteries are actual batteries. Does it matter what direction you put batteries in a remote control? Yeah. Yes. 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 It does. Yes. So it does. So the direction the, the electricity flows makes a difference. In DC power, that makes the difference. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, come back up here. Wait, I'm gonna have you close. take the camera again, and I'm gonna have you show us, show me, and show us working with this. Now what we're gonna do is I have these two steel spheres. They're very heavy, they're solid, and they're made of steel. And I have two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something with these two steel spheres and this piece of paper. So, you're going to take this over and keep us in the frame. And, would you ready? Yep. Okay, here we go. This is going to be interesting. You're going to take this and you need to hold it from the top. Okay, right here. You're going to hold one end, like hold that corner and hold this corner. Two hands, one hand on that corner, one hand on this corner. Swing it out like this. All right, so now I have these two steel spheres. They're quite heavy. Wait a second. Do you hear something? Yeah. You can hear them, can't you? So they give off a sound. So remember, I eat food, I digest food. My, when I digest food, it breaks the food down into its chemicals. Those chemicals have stored energy. I can take those chemicals and digest them and absorb the chemical energy that gives my muscles energy to do work my muscles are going to move these i'm giving them energy what if they suddenly stop you hear this right but what happens when i do it on paper are you ready yeah here we go hold still one on one side, one on the other side. Made it louder. It breaks the paper. Make it louder. It oh, it's an electric paper. current. It's not an electric current. Oh, there's a I can smell current. fire. I can smell sound fire. Oh, I'm smelling fire. I'm smelling fire. Yeah. They're like firecrackers. Firecrackers. Yeah. Wait, did he? They're not even hot. They're not hot now. But they were before. They're not that hot. smells like fire. So now what's happening here, like hold that up. What's happening here is, remember, my muscles moved these. If all that energy suddenly stops, well, that energy has to go somewhere. Some of it goes into making sound. Some of that energy goes into making heat. 
and that heat is so intense that it can vaporize the paper, leaving behind the hole, which you smell as burning paper. So we are changing, we are transferring energy of motion into sound and heat. So, energy can be transferred place to place by sound, light, heat, and electric currents. So, this is next generation science.